Alright, Daddy. Now I'll get out of your fucking hair because otherwise I'll just keep playing with it. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll start Daddy again. Alright guys, it's Brad here for uh, Sunday Morning Coffee. Ray's out doing some errands, running around with the one-to-one. -one. So I figured I'd bring out uh, my G-Speed belt here and talk about something that I want to talk about. Um, I wanted to bring light to the G-Speeds because uh, Extreme Hobby here in Oshawa has uh, now become a dealer for the G-Speed and they have all kinds of product in stock now. So. I figured I'd bring out my G-Speed and show it off to uh, show you guys what the build was. So originally I'd started out with a Proline Ford F100 body, but I just didn't like the fit. So I went over to, as you can see, the G Gladiator body. And it's got a custom paint job done by Viper RC himself. Uh, call it Unicorn Vomit. <laughs> just picked a bunch of colors I liked and we ran with it from there. So, you can see, got some, uh, I got a nice light bar on there. Nothing much, just keeping it pretty simple. So, as you can see, when you get into the truck, it's pretty, uh, pretty basic. You know, nothing too, uh, too fancy. That's the point of it. You want to keep it as light as possible. My truck weighs in without a battery at just over five pounds, just under six pounds with a battery. It's pretty, uh, Pretty impressive and crazy. I um, I have a carbon fiber frame. It's the uh, V3, I believe it is, the package. Um, I chose to go with axial SEX 10-2 axles that I had that have some upgrade, upgrades done to them. Has uh, Vanquish uh, C-hubs in the front and knuckles. And it also has the uh, Vanquish lockouts in the rear as well as gearing. So, when you get the G Speed, you have to pick a package and it comes with certain pieces, but the rest of it you have to put together, like the spacers that are in here for the frame. Uh, it comes with the carbon fiber, or sorry, the Dalrin skid plate and the 3D printed side rails for electronics. Uh, it comes with your choice of pan hard mount. You have to buy the servo mount. I chose to go with the lay down servo mount because I have the pan bar set up in there. So that's how my servo sits. Now, one thing I will definitely say, there is a video on the website or you can look it up about how to put this frame together. Watch it and follow it because this frame doesn't go together like normal RCs go together. You have to put the skid plate on and then put it in a certain order and put the spacers in so that it pinches the frame together because that's the way the frame goes. As you can see, it's narrower in the fr uh, front and rear and wider in the middle to accommodate the Delrin skid plate. So, for electronics, I used a Savox 1210 waterproof servo. And I went with an Amazon 3-speed SCX10-102 uh, aluminum transmission. All metal internals. Um, I went with the Traxxas waterproof receiver box. And I was running the Hobbywing Fusion 1800 KV system, but I decided to put a little more power in there and I went to a Hobbywing Axe 2300 KV system. Um, I have Boom Racing Pro Build rims on here that you can have set to four different offsets. I have it set for a deep dish because I really like the looks and it also helps clear in the fenders of the Gladiator body. Um, I have it just hooked up to my Hobby Porter remote. Um, you have to buy everything for this vehicle. It comes literally with just a carbon fiber frame and some pieces you have to put together. You have to supply the screws and everything. It's a really fun build, but it can be somewhat costly. But at the end of the day, what you're paying for is tried and true performance and something that can crawl areas that you wouldn't normally get to crawl you know it's a lot of fun and it all depends on how you have it set up i've seen some guys that have their setup so low to the ground it's a true belly dragger ish look you know i have mine set up differently i like the way it's set up it runs really well 
they're fun, they're light, and they're good comp trucks, you know, and they're they're good talking centerpiece. I think a lot of people are like, oh wow, that's pretty cool looking and so on. So it's good to have and you can say, hey, I built one. Um, again, you can now get in touch with Extreme Hobbies in Oshawa and order your parts and not have to worry about crazy import fees from the States. Um, yeah, if uh, you guys got any more questions about them, don't uh, hesitate to ask. Uh, I'll help out as much as I can. If you uh, need more help, then you can always just reach out to Extreme or G-Speed. Um, that's about it for me. That's all I got to say. Looking forward to getting out and crawling some more. Uh, look forward to the summer to get this truck out. Like, subscribe, and keep checking out the channel for further videos. And uh, yeah, see you out there.